Etsy is constantly making changes to its platform. This is the most up-to-date recent tutorial you will find on how to start an Etsy shop in 2024. All you have to do is follow click by click for the next 10 minutes and then you will have your own Etsy shop open. Okay, so you're gonna obviously go to Etsy.com and then you're gonna come over here to sign in. And then you're going to come up here to register and you're going to simply put in the email that you just made, your first name, and then a password. And then I'm going to click register. And that fast, I have an Etsy account. However, this is not an Etsy seller account. So now I'm gonna tell you how to turn it into an Etsy seller account. You're going to come up here to the little circle. It says your account and you're going to come down here to sell on Etsy. We're going to click get started. Let's do this. You can answer these or you can skip. I'm just going to click skip this question. Same thing here. Skip this question. Now we're going to click start your shop. You're going to fill this out according to your own preferences. So your language, which country you're in and shop currency. Okay, then you're going to come to save and continue. And then you're going to enter your shop name. Don't stress it. You don't have to spend too much time on this part. Um, you can always change it later if you want to. This is the best I can do right now. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. So mystical maker shop. We're going to save and continue. Then we're going to fill out the category. So I'm gonna type in a apparel, APP. So mainly t-shirts, um, physical items, another company or person, because I'm doing print on demand. Um, what is it? It's a finished product. When did you make it? It's made to order. And then we're going to add the production partner. So I use Printify and about production partner. So it's um, prints packages and ships all items and let me look up where the location is Delaware United States why are you working with this partner I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself what is your role in the design process you're going to choose which one fits best for you what is the role in the production process? They do everything for me. And then you're going to click save. And now they are added to my Etsy shop. However, it is not synced up to Printify yet. Um, later in this course, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to click done and then save and continue. Now we just need to do a basic listing right now to sign to get signed up for our shop. So I'm not going to go de into detail into the listing process just yet. I'm just going to do enough right now to where we can get our shops signed up and working. This listing can um, eventually be deleted or you can edit it however you want. Um, so I'm just going to quickly type in, um, let's say like adult graphic t-shirt. Again, I would never just, I would never title something just that, but this is just to get started right now. And then you can add up to 10 photos and one video for time purposes. I'm just going to put up one photo for right now. It can be anything just to get started with this listing. So I'm putting up a mock-up right now that doesn't even have a design on it yet. All right, so there it is. And then um, description, again, I will go further into detail that in this later in the course, but for right now, I'm just you know filling it, filling it out. So adult graphic t-shirt um, and then price, let's just say like, a random price because we don't want anyone to buy this right now <laughs> um, we're just trying to get our nobody's gonna buy a blank t-shirt for $99 so we're just trying to get this listing up um, I'm not gonna add variations to it at this time I'm not gonna fill out any of this at this time um, I'm not gonna go into tags at this time so physical item yes category t-shirts yes 
shipping profile. I'm going to create a shipping profile. Okay, so for shipping options, you're going to do I'll enter fixed prices manually. You're going to put in your zip code. You're going to put your zip code. I just put Printify zip code for right now since I'm not currently in the States. Processing time is let's say one to three days, but sometimes during the holidays, you'll want to change this to three to five days. This is the time it takes them to make Printify to make the order. And then you're going to choose first class one to five days. I like to do free shipping, so I'm keeping that there. At the moment, I'm not doing international shipping, so I'm turning this off. And I'm going to save this shipping profile as free shipping. Save as profile. Then item weight and size. We're just going to do one pound, um, 10, eight, now, I'm not sure if that's exact, but it's never been an issue for me, so I'm just keeping that at the moment. Um, and then and then for my renewal options, I like to choose manual to see if the item sold or not, and if it doesn't sell within that time period, I like to tweak my listings to give them a little bit um, of a new life to see if they will sell. So I like to manually renew rather than it charging me 20 cents automatically. So save and continue. So I'm actually going to change this policy here. Um, create policy. I actually don't um, accept returns and I don't accept exchanges. Save and apply. We'll get into that more later in this course. Um, and now I'm going to do save and continue. Okay, so then we're going to, we're not going to add more listings right now. We're going to do this later. Now I have to go to my email to confirm my Etsy account. All right, so here it is, confirm your Etsy account. And I just simply go here, confirm account. And it took me right back in to Etsy. So now I'm gonna go back up here to shop manager and click this and it's going to take me right back to the next step and that is how you will get paid so you are going to fill out all of this and how it relates to you and then you are going to connect your bank via plaid i have done this over and over again and have never had an issue just fyi it has been safe at least for me to do this um, quite a few times they're going to have you verify your identity okay so after a series of questions um the bank account should be connected via plaid they're going to put a one cent deposit into your account and then you're going to type in that three digit code you have to go into your bank account to find that code um, and then it will be connected via plaid and then you're going to choose here your deposit schedule how often would you like to get paid i like to do it every day so i'm going to click every day and then save and continue now you're going to um, type in all of your billing info and Etsy now has a new rule, unfortunately, that there is a one-time setup fee. It's $15 um, every time you start a new shop. So um, it will be taking that from this card or this account. Um, and then every time that you add a listing, it is 20 cents. So right now we're just paying the $15. The 20 cent listing fees will be due later as you add more listings into your shop. So go ahead and fill out your card and billing address information and then review setup fee and continue. And then I suggest adding um, this feature to keep your shop extra safe. So you can choose SMS, um, you can choose get codes via phone call or the authenticator app. So I'm gonna just choose SMS and continue and then you're going to enter in the phone number that you would like the code to be sent to and then you're going to have it send you a code and once you get that code sent to your phone number you're going to type that in here and then click continue and now you can choose to open your shop and that quickly the shop is open for business now like i said before it is not synced up to printify yet printify is on here as a production partner 
um, because this is a this will be a print on demand shop but it's not synced up to printify yet which means if somebody were to order one of my products it would not go to printify for them to start processing the order congratulations you are now a seller on etsy in the next video i will link it in the description below i will show you how to sign up on printify and sync your printify account to your etsy shop so that print on demand will be pretty much automated for you all you will have to focus on is making your beautiful designs and getting those listings up on etsy if this tutorial helped you all i ask in return is a like on this video comment any questions you may have in the comment section below thank you so much for your support and for watching and of course i will see you in the next video